everyone in this video I'm going to help you understand basic concept of first principle now what is first principle basically so let me explain you through these uh, two graphs that we have and what what is the need of the first principle guys I'll be trying to be quick and as exploratory as possible now when you consider the equation of a line if I ask you guys the slope generally the slope that you say is okay it is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 or you can say it is change in y over change in x okay now as long as for a line is concerned that the slope is going to be generally constant yeah now when you talk about the slope for a curve like this at every point the slope is different and and generally what happens is that when you observe this the same thing on gdc uh, it it gives a better picture now considering this uh, general function y equals to x squared out here minus 2x squared plus 8x plus 24, uh, what I try to do is I try to just uh, show you the a particular tangent. Okay, so as you can see that this is the slope. That is, I'm going to talk more about dy by dx in later units, but at this stage, you consider this as a slope, which is changing at every point, all right? While when I had a line, the slope was remaining the same. So for example, if I have 2x plus 3, the slope now I'm going to show to you is, Going to remain the same for for the line so when i trace the slope out here you can see that it remains throughout the same so there is a need of, of basically um, doing the finding a method by which we can calculate the slope at any given point like this so what i do is i'm going to use a similar logic and now i'm going to take uh, for example if i take x and corresponding fx value for, for a curve y equals to f of x. I just take another point, which is x plus h, and I take the corresponding y value as f of x plus h. Now it's pretty simple. If I take x as two, your y value is f of two. When I take x as x plus h as two point something, your y value is gonna be f of two point that. Now as again, just reiterating the same formula, guys, the slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now, when you talk about the slope, this becomes like here, y f of x plus h minus f of x upon h. Now, how do I go, get this? This is the slope of the segment that I'm trying to find out. So the slope of the segment, that is this red line, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That's this. Now, what I do is, if you, if you just consider that h value is significantly small, which is like 2.5, zero 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 so it, it's just can be considered as very small indeed out here i have written countable number of zeros ideally you have infinite number of zeros in between in that case what we can assume is that this point is literally out here so they are actually the same point they are not these two different points so what we actually do is we calculate the slope at one fixed point which is nothing but slope of tangent now right so what we do is let us calculate the slope formula for any particular function now. Now the condition here is that the h value has to be pretty close to zero if you want to calculate slope at any given point. So what I do is I apply a little bit about limit concept. If you want to see how the limits are evaluated, you can watch my earlier videos, okay, on limits. Now what I do is let me just consider that this is nothing but the formula for derivative. All right, now derivative of any function like y equals to x squared, y equals to x cubed, y equals to x raised to four. So what I'm gonna just do is, first I'm gonna show it to you, how do we do slope formula for y equals to x squared using the first principle. Now, let me consider y equals to x squared. So everyone knows probably how to do f of x plus h. So you are gonna replace um, x with x plus h out here. So uh, you get x plus h as a formula, which I expand it and we get here, x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Now what is really interesting is that if I wanted to calculate the uh, slope formula, I'm gonna plug in, in the definition of first principle. So that's my f of x plus h here, and f of x is already out here. So that goes at this point, and what we get is we simply get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. That's f of x plus h, guys. That comes out here and minus f of x, that's x squared. And what happened is that this get canceled and you get 
2xh plus h squared. And if I take out h common from here, this h and this h can be canceled out and we get 2x plus h, which is uh, out here. Now, what we do is, because h is significantly small compared to any x value that you're gonna take, which is close to zero, I put here h as zero. And now what we do is we get the slope as 2x. This is the slope formula. So you're gonna input any x value, you are gonna get a y value for the slope. I mean, slope value. Uh, hope this is clear. And if you wish to review, I'm just pausing this video for a second, and then I'm gonna show you another example. So let's now just find out the slope formula for x cubed. Now, how do we do x cubed? So firstly, if I consider the f of x is x, um, x, x cubed out here, so I just, I just take the x cubed function and I try to find out the f of x plus h. So f of x plus h minus f of x upon h. Now f of x plus h, I, I assume that we know x plus h, the whole cube expansion, that is a cube plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cube minus x cube. Now what do we do is we cancel out x cube with x cube and then do the similar procedure of taking h common and then strike out with this h. And at the end, we are gonna get this 3x squared plus 3xh plus h squared. Now, interesting point is that this part and this part become zero because h is pretty close to zero. So we get 3x squared as a function. I hope this, this is pretty clear. If you're not clear, you can pause this video and watch it again. Now, what I want you to do is probably try this example. Question is, f of x is x squared plus four x plus seven. And you got to do is find out the slope of the curve when x is two for the function x squared plus four x plus seven using first principle. You can pause this video and try. Just to show you the solution, I hope you have tried it. Uh, the solution of this is you're going to take firstly as f dash x is f of x plus h minus f of x. Now f of x plus h means that you're going to replace x with x plus h everywhere out here. So you get this and minus f of x. Just be careful about the brackets that the students make mistake in. So it's really interesting if you can, can just be alert about this bracket, then you can avoid the many silly mistakes that happen through sign. So x squared and x squared get canceled, 4x and 4x can cancel, and seven and seven get canceled. At the end, we get is two x plus four plus eight, h, and this and h and h cancel, and at the end we get two x plus four. Now what is really important is that this gives the formula. This is not the, the slope directly. You gotta substitute some point, like I'm putting x as two and I'm getting slope as eight. So, so that's how you find out the the slope formula using first principle i'm going to take i'm going to show you some more examples and you probably can try it and and self understand this and this is going to be a little uh, advanced level math hl level question so uh, you can just try this question and check out the answer and if you have any question please let me know thank you for watching this video and hope this was helpful